Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be um, a glossy box video. So I purchased one of these, um, I think it was like about a, um, a week ago. Um, so I had a discount off one of um, my YouTubers I follow. So um, we're going to basically get into the video now and I'm going to basically tell you what... Um, glossy boxes and everything so yeah let's get into the video right so what you will receive is obviously a box and then if i can get it open i can show you what's inside so you don't know what you're having so this year is well this month is halloween month so you either receive the angel or the dabble box and then you get this little um, leaflet and then it says Happy Halloween Glossies. This October we're embracing our our an angelic and devilish sides with two dis special design boxes and you've just received our angel edit. When I first read this I was in tears because recently I have lost a family member who has recently passed away so I feel like really um, blessed right now that I received the angel box. I was absolutely in tears so if I do cry that is why. Um, because the angel's beauty should never fade this box features five heavenly products that will make you look and feel positive positively divine divine this box features um no it includes an enchanting eyeshadow palette a dreamy lipstick crayon and shimmery foam bath powder we've also added an extra in indulgent treat to, to satisfy your sweet tooth let your halo shine bright glossies. So this is basically what you have. So that's the eyeshadow palette. That's the bath crystals. And then you've got um, a, a holographic face mask, which I might do a video on that one. And then your surprise is the hot chocolate. And then on the back of it, it has your sneak peek November box. So, um, this is a subscription um, box, so I may sign up for it, like every month I would get a different um, surprise. And then this is my discount code, as they do the app on calendar, and it's worth £70. And that's what it will look like. So the box will look like this, so we are now going to open it, I haven't opened it yet, I've just basically saved it for my video as it came this morning. So this is the Whitland Chelsea 1886 Luxury White Hot Chocolate. So this may be like a little treat for tonight before bed. Then you have um, the I Define Crayon Liner in black. Right, you know me, I'm not very good at opening boxes. So we may have to do a separate video on that one. And then you've got the, I, um, the face mask, which is holographic i am so excited to use this i've never used holographic products before um you also have a i think this is the lip crayon they were on about lord and berry um crayon lipstick it's like um a pinky shade if i do a swatch looks like i don't know if you can see that if you, if you can see that, um, that'll be good. But yeah, that's that. 
And then you have the eyeshadow palette. If you know me, I don't usually use eyeshadows, so this might be a new makeup thing I might try. But yeah, that's the eyeshadow palette. And then you have the um, bath powder. So that is basically what you get in the box. I am now going to tell you how you can like um, order it and stuff. So we're going to try out the bath dust. I don't know how much I should put in. But I think that should be enough. This is it, by the way. It's Angel Dust Forming Bath Powder by um, Glossy Box. And on the back of it, it's just got their Angel Eye and some other things. So as it's the following day now, I thought I would make the Whitland Chelsea Luxury White Hot Chocolate. Um, this came in my glossy box and it says a buttery sweet masterpiece guaranteed to put an angelic smile on your face and it is a hot chocolate sachet and it is a white hot chocolate. This is basically the packaging is full of skulls because of um, its Halloween theme. Um, so yeah, we're basically going to make this now and we're going to try it. Right, so we're going to put the hot chocolate sachet in the cup. Um, got some scissors. Yeah, and apparently this came with a discount code as well. So if I like it, I might purchase another one. Oh, it sounds really nice. I'm guessing you took it all in. Like, I don't usually make hot chocolate and sachet. As you can see, I've got a coffee machine and that's how I make my hot chocolates now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make mine with milk because I just don't like sachets with uh, just water. It just doesn't taste right. Um, but yeah, I thought, thought I'd make them um, and hot chocolate this morning while I get ready for whatever I'm doing today. So yeah, basically pouring into milk. I use the blue milk because I can't drink a, a, like the green milk or anything. It just, it just upsets my stomach. We just don't know why. It just does. Grab um, a spoon. Just so I can like mix it all in. And then we're gonna pop it in the microwave for a minute, a minute and a half. We'll do a minute just in case because I don't want to like blow anything up. Which knowing me I will. Um yeah. Right, so we're gonna put this in the microwave now. It looks like um that milky bar crush on. Yeah, we're going to stick it in the microwave and we're going to put it in for, I'd say, a minute and then check on it. So we're going to put it in. Yeah, it basically looks like this right now. And then just mix it. And then we'll do a taste test to see if it's hot enough. Right, so we're going to give it a taste test now. Ooh, very different. Definitely prefer this than the Oreo one I recently tried. Um, but yeah, I'd say it tasted like um, a hot milky bar. You know, like when you buy those milky bars and you just melt them in the microwave. That's what I'd say this tastes like. Um, it smells amazing. Um, but yeah, that's my review on the um, hot chocolate from um, Glossy Box anyway. Um... I quite like it, um, but yeah, I mean, it was enough, it was, it, it, it was definitely enough, um, but yeah, anyways, um, that is the review on the hot chocolate. Right, so, 
I thought now, as I will, as I'm getting ready, I will do a review on the glossy box um, lip crayon. So the packaging looks like this, and then this is the pink shade I received. So I'm gonna take this brown lipstick off now, and then we're gonna try. This one. I've never used lip crayons before, so this is going to be interesting. Um, so yeah, right, so as you can see now, I've taken my lipstick off. So we're going to try and do this. I have no clue if I'm doing this right. But we're going to give it a go. By the way, I have a mirror just over the year. Just so I can see what I'm doing. These are not too hard, to be honest. From um, what I can gather anyway. Like, they're pretty smooth. Which is really good. Hmm, it's a very angel pinky colour. I thought it was going to be like, a really like, bright, like, soft pink, but like a bright version. But yeah, I quite like this colour. It's like um, a nudie slash pinky colour, I'd say. Um, but yeah, I quite like this colour. Um, I will um, insert a picture for what it actually looks like. Because obviously you can't really tell with the lighting and everything. Um, but yeah, this was the um, Lord and Berry. And it is a crayon lipstick, so I might investigate in these because it's not coming off. Like you can see, like it's not coming off. So, great really. Hopefully these come in dark colours because I know the devil one came in a dark red. That's why I really wanted the devil box because they had the dark um, makeup side but obviously with the angel they're quite light so that's when you have the light shade um, but we're gonna try and move on to the eyeshadows I've never used eyeshadow before so this is gonna be an interesting one but yeah so we're gonna go on to eyeshadow now So yeah, this is the eyeshadow. It is S T Y L uh, something touch. So this is what it actually looks like. So I may try and do some swatches. As I said before, I've never used eyeshadow in my life, but I really like the pink tones so that is the eyeshadow palette in Angel um, but yeah I don't think I've got any eyeshadow brushes and that's if I go like this and then I have no clue if I'm doing this right. I've never used eyeshadow in my life. But we're going to give it a go. Uh, what colour was I using? This one. I apologise if this goes wrong. I cannot see what I'm doing. I 
I have no idea, but yeah, that is the eyeshadow palette. Um, if it actually came out on my uh, eyelids, I will try and insert the picture. But yeah, that is the eyeshadow palette. Um, I also received the um, crayon eyeliner and again I have never used eyeliner in my life I'm quite scared to actually use it so don't know if I will but I will show you what the eyeliner crayon actually looks like well yeah as I was saying um, this is the M Core Beauty uh, eyeliner crayon it will look like that you can see like how actually dark it is um i might have to look on line for um youtube videos how to use eyeliner because i have never used it in my life and i am really scared i know you go like round this bit here because darcy uses a lot of um eyeliner but then i'm not sure how you do like the uh is it cat's eye they call it this bit be here um, but yeah, we're going to um, skip that bit because um, I'm quite scared to use this. Just in case I poke my eye, because as I said, I've never used eyeliner before. So I'm going to watch some tutorials and see if I've got the guts to do it. But yeah, anyways, that is my review on the makeup. Um, I did receive as well a holographic face mask. So I shall do a video on this as well in this... Um, in this review as well so you can like review like the whole thing really but yeah this is the um illuminating holographic peel off mask so this is the peel off mask um so we shall give this a go and see what it's like i've never used holographic products in my life um but i quite like it's very like glitzy as you can see like it's really glittery which is really nice so hopefully i won't have um a skin reaction um but yeah this is the Illumi illuminated holographic peel off mask so we shall get we shall give this a go but yeah so yeah as i was saying that we're gonna do the mask now i've just popped into my um pjs um, because we're just gonna like basically just chill for the night now. Oh my gosh, I'm scared to put this on. Oh my gosh. Right, I think we need the scissors a minute. Lucky enough, I have them right next door to me. I mean, I haven't opened this correctly, have I? Oops. Hmm, smells nice. I have no clue how I'm supposed to put this on. Because it is rather sticky. Oh, my fingers are glowing already. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, we're going to try and put this on now. And then... We're going to... Um, Put it on for like, I think mean, it says 20 minutes on the packaging. But I mean, I'm going to get back to you when the mask is on. It'll be easier. So as you can see right now, my mask is on. Um, so I am very shimmery and glowy right now. But yeah, this is the mask. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this on for like about, um, I think it says 20 minutes on the box, but I can feel it like tightening up already. So I think I'm going to leave it on for about 15. So we're just going to set a timer now. And then we're going to um, wash it off. Well, it says peel off, so we're going to give it a go peeling it off. But if that doesn't work, we're going to um, use my makeup wipes to remove it. But yeah, I'll get back to you in like... 15 20 minutes time so 15 minutes is up now so as you can see it's already wanting to um peel off oh 
Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Oh, that feels amazing. But yeah, um, where's the rest? Oh my gosh, this is so see-through. I can't even like see where the rest is. But I mean, that mask was just amazing. But you might be able to find them somewhere, but mine came in my um, glossy box video. Oh, look at my nose, it's actually shining. I take it this is what a highlighter does to your face. I cannot, I can feel it, but I can't like, oh, go ahead better if you know what I mean. So I might need to use my um, uh, makeup wipes now to try and like get it off. Where's it gone? Oh gosh, I got some underneath my eyes. Oh, there it is. But yeah, um, that mask was lovely. It's really nice on your skin as well. So I'm just gonna take it off with my makeup wipes. But yeah, oh, that's lush. Oh, that feels amazing. Mm. But yeah, that was the mask anyway from um, Glossy Box. Highly, highly, highly recommend that mask. It was a bit of a bugger to put on because I don't usually use uh, sachet masks I usually use um, like ones that come in a pot you know like the ones from um, the body shop or um, Lush I think I've used a few Lush ones on my channel um, I've heard that uh, Glam Glow is good as well so I might take an interest in them but their masks are quite expensive but I mean Lush and um, Lush and the body shop are exactly the same. But yeah, anyways, I think that is everything of my face. Oh my gosh, my face just feels amazing. It feels nice and soft. Like, that was needed. Um, because of, like, oh, well, with my acne and everything. Um, I don't usually, um, do masks very often because... The ones that I usually buy, they're quite expensive, so I usually get sample pots whenever I can. But I haven't been up Swansea for a while now, so maybe I might do a trip up Swansea soon and get um treat myself to a face mask as my mum says you haven't treated yourself in a while. So we may end up in either Lush or the body shop to get um a new mask. But it's very difficult with my skin because obviously I suffer with um acne so it's really difficult but yeah that mask um really recommend i did not have a allergic reaction which i'm so happy with but i'm sure i've seen those type of masks see in um Primark and possibly the range i've seen like glowy masks there so maybe you can get them from there but yeah anyways this was the one from um glossy box anyway you can see how like shiny it is and it was the holographic one so that's why it looked all uh shiny and glittery but yeah anyways um that is my review on their face masks i really 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 10 out of 10 recommend them absolutely amazing i can't believe how soft my skin is literally um, but yeah, anyways, that is my review on the face masks. So how you apply for it is that you'll come to this page. You choose what monthly prescription you want to do. So I did the, um, the £10 a month. But because I had a discount code off one of my YouTubers that I follow, 
I only had it for seven pound because it 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 takes away four pound. Your discount is four pound. Um. So yeah, basically it's um, ten pound a month. But if you want to do it for the full year, it's only eight pound fifty a month. So I think I might do that. Um. But yeah. So each each month you get um. A different type of box with um, different kind of products so the products could be from super drag they could be like um, NYX they could be Maybelline they could be they could be anything any makeup brand you can think of you may receive it but on their website it does actually tell you what you can receive so if you want to look on there that would be fine um, but yeah, this is basically everything that you need to know about the glossy box. Um, there's an ad from calendar out at the moment and apparently it is worth £70. So maybe if you guys look out for a discount code, you may get it less. But I haven't really got £70 to uh, fork out for an ad from calendar. But I've seen like previous videos of my YouTubers and... Um, a really good album calendar to be honest um but yeah anyways um that is my video on the glossy box um let me know if you guys um order one or if you guys um are interested or if you want more information um just send me like um an inbox and um I will answer you guys. But yeah, anyways, that is my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, thank you. Bye.